The Worry Balloon by Monica Mancillas. When Isla was little, every day seemed like sunny, blue skies and rainbows. When something bad happened, kisses and tickles made everything all better. But these days, things were different. Isla's mind had learned to worry. When scary thoughts came, the world went dark and everything felt stormy. What if I broke my ankle? What if I never heal? What if we go to the hospital and they tell me I'm going to die? On days like today, the first day of school, when the path ahead was on shorter, Isla's mind playing the what if game. Her mind knew just how to scare her. What if I get scared at school? What if no one likes me? What if a tree falls down on the playground and I get squished? Isla stood by the door in the first day outfit, brand new and a brand new backpack, but her feet would not move. She felt like she was stuck in a pool of quicksand. What if something bad happened, said Isla. It sounds like you're worried, said mommy. Try putting your worry in a big balloon and letting it float away. Whenever it comes back to check on you, just remind it that you are okay. Isla took deep breath <sighs> in and out and blew the worries away. What if? What if? What if? farther away her worries flew, the calmer she became. Outside, a buttercup son seemed to smile at Isla as she steps into the sideway. Mrs. Olvera waved, Buena suerte on your first dia! The busy street was a symphony of hurried morning voices. Isla's worries tried to return, but she blew them away bravely. The city had the city ahead was a bustling maze of buses, cars, and streetlights. Isla's school was so far away she could not even see it. What if I'm late to school? What if? What if I can't find our way home? What if I get lost? Isla asked. What if I? we don't? asked Mommy. Remember to talk to your worry. Reminded that you are in charge of your feelings. Isla closed her eyes and thought, what if I'm okay? Slowly, the clouds above her head began to drift away. The steering in Isla's chest quieted as she walked past familiar spaces, past the pet shop where the finches sang, past Mr. Lee's Mercado, past the bakery and the, the smell of donuts and the happy toy store window. But then a single clown seemed to darken, pulling her mind towards the storm. What if, sang the wind. Isla tried to keep going, but her legs were like jelly, trembling. Isla remembered all the times that she had weather things that she was scared of, like when she got her vaccine and when she thought there were uh, monsters under her bed, but there weren't. And was then she thought that Itsy Bitsy Spider was gonna come get her, and when, even when she had to try broccoli, and it was all fine. Slowly, the storm quieted as her new friend barked hello. Down the street, the school bell sounded as children quickened their feet. Slow parade of bumblebee buses made their way to the gate. Isla's heart went boom, boom, boom as each step to her closer. Mommy squeezed her hand as the crossing guard busily waved them forward. Okay, said Mommy, it's time. She gave Isla a kiss and a big abrazo, a hug. Isla tried to brave as she peeked through the gate, but her feet were like trees, rooted. What if you don't come back, Isla said. Try picturing what you want to see. The world is what you make it, so try making it something happy. Isla closed her eyes and tried to imagine something happy. 
but her mind was a world of a scary thought that spun like a big tornado. What if the teacher is mean to me? What if my classroom is scary? What if I fall off the monkey bars? What if no one likes me? I can't, she said. Try again, Mommy said. Isla took a breath. She thought of a classroom warm with sun and lots of place and a lot of friends to play with. Isla imagined arts and crafts and recess on the playground. She thought of the stories her teacher would read and the treats she might find at lunch time. What if? What if? Isla remembered she had done this before. There was nothing she could not handle. The storm might come again, but for now, Isla's mind was quiet. The end. Building your worry toolbox, mindfulness, visualization, yoga, and other exercises might help you when you feel anxious or worried. Good luck.